Good evening, everyone. This is Royce Miller coming back at you with yet another Let's Try. As you can see, I'm still in parts unknown, staying with family. Oh, hold on, let me just uh, a little closer to the center frame. Kind of back in the gorilla setup here. I tried to uh, get a recording setup going. I have both my fans turned off when it is pretty hot for me. I Y'all see my thermostat. I like to keep things pretty chill, literally. Uh, but I figured you hearing me was more important than my personal comfort. Um, and it's only going to be for a little bit anyway. Uh, tonight on the docket, I stopped by a Dollar Tree to pick up some memorial supplies for my grandpa's grave. And uh, found these interesting little things. Tillamook beef jerky bits, uh, Hawaiian teriyaki, and cheesy, che che cheesy jalapeno. My kitty is meowing at the door. I may let her in in a bit. Uh, and then also, to wash it down, we have the Frosty Sodies Pops. Blue and classic lemonade. So, uh, why don't we cut right to the chase and dig into the jalapeno cheddar since I think that's the one people want to see me try more. Oh, there's not very much in here. These look like dog treats. Hold on, let me just make sure they're not dog treats. Oh, they're pork, not beef. Hmm. So despite looking like beef jerky, I do believe this is more of a, a Slim Jim sausage scenario. <coughs> and see here, it's kind of a... Hmm. It's very processed meat, but it's okay. I like a smoked sausage. Made with real hardwood smoke. Slow smoke to perfection with real hardwood. No liquid smoke. No artificial colors of others or flavor. Just mouth-watering flavor. I mean, they're good. Definitely better than the jerky I tried. Like, I didn't, I don't, I, I literally still have that in my fridge at home. Because I just can't go back to it. I don't like mung bean. And the mung bean flavor just kept getting worse and worse after I stopped eating it. It's spicy, but it's jalapeno spicy, which isn't, you know, it's not like the worst thing ever. Um, I keep having to crane my neck down a little to make sure the, oh yeah, it's getting a little bit on the camera, but. So there was this like shaft of light coming down and it was making it weird. Oh, I know what it was. It was reflecting off the cardboard box here. But I put my black shirt over it to stop it from uh, doing that. Hmm. These aren't exactly chop house bites. These are more like smoked sausage, which is okay. It's like if you took the jalapeno spam, cut it up into bits, stuck it in a smoker for God knows how long. Mm. 
So, uh, my family lives in the Iowa area, and so we went to this place near Des Moines called the Brass Armadillo and did a little antiquing there. It was some fun. I saw some stuff I wanted, but, well, I can't afford it right now. Maybe later this summer I'll buy it. Um, really, the thing I was looking at isn't even an antique. Someone had bought... Because, like, the Brass Armadillo is one of those places where they have a bunch of, uh... Of, uh, let's see, is this also pork? Yes, it is. Oh, interesting. That is a lot softer. And there's pineapple bits. I'm usually not a fan of pineapple, but dried pineapple as an accoutrement to some jerky is not a bad idea. It's a lot more crumbly texture, too. I think because the pineapple got mixed in. Mm. Yeah. That looks like bacon bits shoved together with dried pineapple. It's actually very good. I'm glad I had this one second. That's a good palate cleanser. Anyway. Uh, the Brass Armadillo, it's basically like you buy a stall to house your things. And one person had a stall filled with, like, collectible things. So he had several copies of Hero Quest in there and, like, a bunch of rare toys. And one of the toys he had was um, the Catwoman of Channel 6 Ninja Turtle set. So it came with... Uh, April, so basically it's the Channel 6 crew. You have April O'Neil, her producer, that Vernon guy, and Irma. And April was the cat creature. Irma and Vernon had altered alternates of themselves as uh, rat critters. And then there it also came with two turtles. Basically it was the Channel 6 characters and their various transformations. And... I've always been fascinated by transformation in media, specifically of, uh, I mean, not specifically for female characters, but I don't know, I, I, I like a lot of lady characters, and the, the transformation episodes with them as kids, what really stuck out to me as a kid, like uh, that one Kim Possible episode where she turned into a monkey, or you know, totally spies, which everyone says, like, oh, that gave everyone fetishes. And then there was that episode of Batman where Catwoman got turned into a cat creature by a Dr. Moreau wannabe. Which, it's a weird episode, but surprisingly well written. Because there's kind of this, like, Frankenstein thing going on. Bit of an intermix between the film version and the, uh, and the book version where... They have more of the father-son dynamic of the film where it's like, oh, my special little boy, the world isn't ready for you. And also the book version where the where he where he's actually intelligent and recognizes how much people hate him. And of course you have a bit of the Bride of Frankenstein where he because he's turning Catwoman into a Catwoman. To be his mate. Which is such a weird concept. Hmm. That was delicious. Anyway. That worked up a bit of a thirst. So let's try. This frosty lemonade. Which is ironic. Because it's currently room temperature. But still pretty chill. Hmm. Surprisingly, they didn't um, go as hard on the sugar as they could have, which leads to a very, like, refreshing drink. And it is a cane sugar soda, if you're into that. Like, I don't think that there's too much of a difference between cane sugar and high fructose corn syrup or whatever other sweeteners you use. Like, it's, it's all, it's all sweetness, man. Mmm. 
I tell it hits the spot though. Um, put this over ice or crushed ice. Oh, you'd be having a heck of a time. I don't know when I'm posting this because, like, I have so many videos to post. I may have, I may have, like, the first half of, excuse me, I may have the first half of, you know what, yeah. June covered already. Alright, let's crack, crack into the blue. I'm assuming this is going to be a blue raspberry flavor. I'm curious, actually. Did, did this, does this have pineapple or just... Let's see. Diced pineapple. Raw sunflower seeds. I was wondering if it had uh, some dehydrated... Like some some of the dried onion in it. I don't believe it. She broke in. Oh hi, Joe. Hmm. I'm recording a video. Yeah. You want to say hi to the camera? No. Oh, you got. You're getting up for work. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, my brother. It's his twenty eighth birthday. Was. Was. To your health. Yeah, it's blue raspberry. I mean, that's good. Uh, yeah. I'm sitting in my grandpa's room. Uh, it's kind of become the guest room since he passed away last year. Sadly, I was working when he did. I tried to get time off to visit him before the end, but, well, it well it didn't work out that way. I had visited him the Christmas before, at least, so there's that. I feel a little bad because he and I really argued over the thermostat because, like, he needed it warm and I needed it cold. I'm built like a walrus. He was built like a scarecrow. And he hated squirrels. For some reason, he didn't like them climbing up his tree. Which sounds like a euphemism, but it's not. Oh, kitty, come here. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to someone. Someone near and dear to my heart. This is... I believe this is Milan. She used to be the thinner of the two kitties, but now she is the... I'm heavier of the two ever since Jasmine lost a bunch of weight. Um, we named them Jasmine and Milan because Cy and Anne would have been t just too racist, but we couldn't name them after the white princesses. We had to name them after the Asian princesses because our family is racist. Uh, no, I, I think that they're cute names and good for the kitties because Jasmine is a fighter and we... Or, no, because or, Mulan is a fighter, and Jasmine is a princess. Oh, Jasmine's a fighter, too. Aw, oh, look at the kitty. Here. Ah. Anyway. So, yeah, I don't know when I'm posting this video. It's still May. Uh, it, may it may be mid-June before it, it gets out. Anyway. Her, her fur's a little... Excuse me, matted right now. There you go. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for me today. I gotta get going. Um, I'm sorry I didn't finish it, but I finished the other one. Cat hair. Uh, I I'll be staggering the release of the of the candy things so that it's the daily uploads. Uh, by the time you see this, you'll probably have already seen them. Really love the green tea flavor. Also, I tried the matcha drink from uh, from uh, Starbucks. It's kind of spinachy, but I like it. You know, it's sweet and vegetal. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. You all have a good one. This is Rice Miller. I'm Audi.